Sorry about the spots on the lens. Turns out that when you're plasma cutting, the plasma spray is not so great for the glass on the front of a GoPro. Lesson learned. So today's project is cutting and moving this shipping container. Uh, this shipping container came with the property. It's 40 foot long, eight foot high, standard shipping container. And uh, we want to use it as a barn in the new pasture that we're building. In the last video uh, that I uploaded, you saw me uh, establishing a path for the fence line for a new pasture and we've had a really successful breeding season so while the barn up at the top of the hill is doing great we want some more space for the lambs and kids that we have coming out of our ears so shipping container becomes barn the problem is uh, this guy is sitting directly on the ground its uh, tear weight is about four tons eight thousand pounds and my tractor doesn't move it I tried uh, it wouldn't budge. So the plan is to cut it in half to make two 20-foot sections and I've got a friend coming over with his 11-ton excavator and hopefully that he'll be able to move the individual sections. Uh, to get it ready for cutting and moving I put in some uh, welded in some reinforcing uh, steel in the middle uh, just on either side of the cut line. I'm probably going to cut now to the video of the work that I've done so far and then we'll catch up with uh, cutting this thing and moving it and that's the project for today.
So yesterday wasn't quite the smashing success. Uh, ran into a few issues. Uh, firstly, down at the container, um, we ran out of uh, abrasive cutoff wheels, so we couldn't cut through everything. So I broke out the plasma cutter to cut across the top. Uh, that went pretty well going horizontally versus vertically before. The challenge was the breaker on the generator kept on tripping, like every three inches I'd cut, I had Nick flip the, the, the breaker. Didn't make for the cleanest cut, but it got it done. Um, Nick's back here this morning, he's got more cutoff wheels and we're gonna cut through the channels now. We did all the skin yesterday, but we need to cut the C channel and the beams across the top. We wanted to do those last for obvious reasons. The other issue we ran into is Tim was working the excavator up here and uh, he tore his track. It was a little bit torn before he got here, um, but it got tore through completely. So uh, we just uh, got the track back on and we're gonna see if we can sort of jerry-rig something to get it to work for the day. Maybe we'll limp along dragging ourselves with the bucket um, or maybe borrow someone else's mini excavator um, to see if we can get this done today. Oh dang, I did loosen off a lot, didn't I? Okay, so here's the other thing is, is I probably... If I get pull that track, we'll loosen up a lot more. If you what? We're just going to do this really slow, right? Right here, on that side. Alright, go backwards now. close. Got that one on video. Yep. So I'm making a new arbor for the uh, demo saw. Um, the one that they had was too thin and I think the blades were wobbling too much. So quick little lathe project while they go into town to buy some more blades. Beautiful. So I think under uniform YouTube builder's code, I'm required to say that this is my inspector. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up high. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. Look at that! I mean, I think with the chains lifting it up, it's not gonna dig in. This might be the hard part.
Yeah, it seems to be. Buddy. Fun ride. Okay, phase one is complete. We have both shipping containers reinforced, cut, and installed on a flat pad. Uh, my welds held up great, which is awesome. There was lots of pulling and pushing on them, and uh, I just took some measurements. We're within a sixteenth of square on both of these guys. And in terms of their placement, they're within half an inch of parallel. So that's pretty good. Um, so this is phase one. Phase two is going to be making some doors for the front sections. That's why I was out here taking some measurements for that. Uh, phase three is going to be putting a roof over the top. And phase four will be plumbing, electric, Wi-Fi, all the creature comforts. Uh, this should be a good project and the animal should appreciate it. So I'll keep on working and bring you back for phase number two.